What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today is March 21st of 2022. My name is Derek, and in today's video, I want to talk about today's big story out of China, where we've been told that 132 people have died in a plane crash in the southern part of the nation. This plane crash involved a Boeing 737 jet, which is a very significant part to this story. It left Kunming earlier in the day, crashing in the southern part. Notice how President Xi Jinping is also mentioned in this article. We're going to talk about, well, several things that are connected to this news story today. Here on this channel, we talk about the language of gematria or gematria. And this is the ancient practice and observation of letters and numbers. The two ciphers seen on your screen here are the most basic ones taught in every video. First is English ordinal, where the alphabet is numbered 1 through 26, each letter relative to its position in the alphabet. The reduction method uses the rules of numerology to drop each double-digit number to a single digit. And when we combine this language with dates on the calendar, we find that something very, very strange is going on in our lives and particularly in the mainstream media. So to get started with the numerology of this story today, I want to talk about the number that's right here in the headline. 132 people allegedly dying. Now, intriguingly, another number that's been thrown around is 133, and we're actually going to talk about why both of those numbers are mentioned in this story. And again, the plane that was involved in this incident was a Boeing aircraft. And Boeing has been in a lot of hot water over the last few years, particularly for their 737 models, which were actually grounded back in 2019 and 2020 following a pair of airplane crashes that Boeing was unable to resolve. The first one of these was Lion Air Flight 610 back in October of 2018. The following year, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, another Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, which crashed, killing everybody on board. Now, the crash today did not involve a 737 MAX, but it was a 737. So in this video, we're going to explain how today's crash is connected to previous air disasters. The first one we'll look at is the previous worst crash in China Eastern Airlines history, which was flight 5210 in 2004. Today's crash is the new worst disaster in this airline's history. Back in 1992, there was another Boeing 737 crash, which to this day was the worst disaster in China involving a Boeing. So we'll look at how it connects to that. And then the two 737 MAX crashes that we just mentioned, Lion Air 610, Ethiopian 302. And finally, we'll also look at how this crash is connected to 9-11, which of course was the date of the greatest aviation tragedy in all of history. So let's get started again. 132 people dying in this crash. Using the standard alphabetic order, the phrase China plane crash sums to 132. Another significant cipher I teach in most of my videos is called Sumerian. You'll see that it uses the standard 26 letter alphabetic order, but multiplies the alphabet by six. This plane crash in China involved the Boeing company, which is the official name of Boeing, as we see here. The Boeing company sums to 1,032 in Sumerian. The two plane crashes that caused Boeing to ground their MAX 37 models occurred exactly 132 days apart back in 2018 and 2019. Now those are the same three digits we find in the gematria of just Boeing in that same cipher. 132, 312. But think about today's date, March 21st. 
That date is written on the calendar as 321 here in the United States. The other cipher you saw on your screen there was called Latin or Jewish gematria, based on the ancient Latin alphabetic order, one that I believe is actually the most significant cipher in this study. And notice how in this method, Eastern sums to 321. And it was China Eastern Airlines that was involved in the crash today on 321. In fact, China Eastern Airlines just turned 12,000 321 days old, the day before this crash. We'll talk more about this founding date in a minute. This is another very significant number to Boeing, who merged with its competitor, McDonnell Douglas, back in the year 97. And this merger effectively ended competition for Boeing in the North American plane market. That merger on August 1st occurred on the 213th day of the year. And consider how the date March 21st in China would be written as 21 slash 3. Now if you include the end date, the two Boeing 737 crashes from a couple years ago were uh, 133 days apart. You can run these numbers here. If you include the end date, you get 133. Now, 133 is the English gematria of Boeing. And today, the date of the Eastern Airlines crash falls 133 days before the anniversary of that merger. Of course, a big reason that merger was on August 1st is because 81, like how that date is written, is found in the gematria of both McDonnell Douglas and the Boeing company. So this is all pretty interesting, right? We have an interesting alignment with 132, but this pales in comparison to what I'm about to show you. Let's go back to the standard alphabetic order and type in the name of this airline, China Eastern. Notice how China Eastern sums to 117 in the alphabetic order. Today is 117 days after the anniversary of the last Boeing crash that China Eastern had. Boeing, remember again, they merged with McDonnell Douglas. McDonnell Douglas sums to 171, the same digits. So again, we're measuring from this Boeing crash to today's Boeing crash. 1124 of 1992. Measuring between these two crashes, we get 10,710 days. If we measure back to 9-11, the worst, you know, tragedy in the history of aviation, it's been exactly 1,071 weeks. Today's crash happened in China, whose national holiday, China National Day, falls on October 1st, which is 171 days before today's date. Today is also 177 weeks and one day after the Lion Air Flight 610 crash. Today is also 1,107 days after the Ethiopian Airlines crash. Again, these two planes, the Boeing MAX 37s, 737s. If we go back to China Eastern Flight 5210, which before today was this airline's worst disaster ever... It's been 17 years, 17 weeks, and one day. This aircraft that crashed today, notice how it was delivered to Eastern Airlines on June 25th of 2015. Now this is a significant date to Eastern Airlines, who was founded on June 25th, see that? That means it was a span of 17 years and one day after the company was founded. Finally, today, or, yeah, today is also a span of 107 weeks and one day before the next great American total solar eclipse. Now, why are these digits so important, 171 or 117? 
Well, think about the date September 11th. Septum actually means seven in Latin. And on the Roman calendar, September was the seventh month. So September 11th used to be 711 on the calendar. And these numbers are connected to 911 in more ways. First, we take the prime number relationship. Notice how the 171st prime number is 1019, the same digits as the date 911, 119. Also, the number 1071, which is the number of weeks it's been since 911, is 9 times 119. China Eastern even had founding numerology of 119. But there's another fact I wanted to share here about this. If I can find it, I apologize for closing this tab before I started the video, but Basically, the Roman calendar had September as the seventh month until the year 153 BC when it was changed. And you see this here on the Wikipedia page, 153 BC. Today is exactly 1,530 weeks or 10,710 days since that last Boeing crash in China, Flight 3943. The big merger between Boeing and McDonnell Douglas occurred back in the year 97. 97 is another significant number to plane crashes, as the phrase plane crash sums to 97. Today's plane crash in China occurred nine years and seven days after Chinese President Xi Jinping took office. He became the president on March 14th of 2013. Also consider the four digits in today's flight, 5735. When you write that out in reduction, you get 97. So when we were looking at all these 171 alignments, I finished off by talking about this Great American Eclipse. Now this is the next total solar eclipse that occurs over the United States. And it actually is the first solar eclipse from today that occurs in the entire world. So if you measure from today to that date, you get 107 weeks in one day, or just 107 weeks. Today is also 107 days after the last total solar eclipse. Don't forget the word kill sums to 17 in reduction. But this isn't the only eclipse that this crash is connected to. Going back again to the 132 people who died. Now, 132 is the first multiple of 66, right? 66 plus 66 is 132. Today's crash falls on a date with primary numerology of 66. Back in 2017, we had the first Great American Eclipse, and notice how that was also on a date with numerology of 66, and it was the date that left 132 days in the year. Measuring to today from that eclipse gives us exactly 239 weeks. 239 is another prime number, divisible only by one and itself. This brings us to the number 52. How appropriate for a story involving a Boeing aircraft. Boeing has gematria 52 in the alphabetic order. And using the S exception, in reduction, the phrase plane crash even sums to 52.
Regarding the 66 date numerology today as well, China Eastern Airlines, their uh, full name for the company sums to 606 in the reverse alphabetic order. So it all comes together a little too well, doesn't it? And I'm curious to know if anybody actually knows anyone who died on these uh, airplane crashes because clearly something very strange is going on. And it really all began on 9-11, didn't it? Four unscheduled airplane trips, all mysteriously hijacked. Some wild flight paths on 9-11 that amateur pilots shouldn't be able to do. And here we are over 20 years later, still decoding bizarre plane crashes by the numbers. All right, everyone, thanks for jumping in. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.